Welcome to the next part of the tutorial. Today, we will show you how to insert an equation in your article. Now, there are two ways where how we can insert our equation in the article, as an embedded image or as plain text. To do so, we'll have to click on the section that we're working on and click on the gray button of the toolbar, which says equation. In the equation, we will find that we can insert the identifier of our formula if it has one, if it doesn't we don't need to put anything and we can now select to insert it as an image or as a plain text. To insert it as an image we'll click on the box and select the gallery button on the toolbar. Now we have to choose the image from our computer, click on the selected file, upload it and then we'll have to insert it in the article. Once we have done this, the formula will be put as an image. Now, to put it as plain text, we'll click on the equation box and select the tag button. This will take us to a formula editor where we can find all the different settings and types of formula formulas that we need. You can explore all of this selection to find the one that suits the formula the most. Now, to begin with the tagging of the article, we'll have to click on the box and select the variables that we need and the operators. Once we've done this, we start to select all of the elements that are pertinent to our formula. We need to select in each and every box that we find just so that we can add all the different variables and operators of the formula. We'll then insert the equation and as you can see, we find now that the equation is as plain text. Now, if we decide to upload it as plain text, we'll have to delete the box that corresponds to the image. Or if we wish to delete, or if we wish it to be an image, we have to delete the box of the plain text. We need to choose one of the other, so there's no problem with it. Welcome to the Markalik tutorial. Now we'll check how to tag a table or chart in our article. When tagging a table, there's two ways of tagging said table. We can add it as a text on the content of the article or as an image. For doing so, we need to click on the section that we are working on and select on the toolbar the button table or chart. This will input a series of boxes that we need to fill with the information of our table. We can select the identifier of set table, the title, the attribution, which is from where did we got that table, and notes if it has one. This one has one. So let's add all the different data that we need. And to tag one, we can add it as plain text or as an image. To put it as a text table, we'll click on the box text table and on the right side you can see that it has a button that says import table. We'll click on it and as you can see we have now the table added as plain text. This means that we can edit and format all the text that need it appears on the table as much as we need it. We can bold it and put all the characteristics that we need in this section. Now. To upload it as an image, we'll have to click on the box image, select the orientation that we want, it can be the original way, or we can rotate it if the, box, the table is too big. Now, we'll click on the gallery button and upload the image. We'll choose the image from our computer and insert it as an image. Now, once we have 
this table, we can decide if we want it as an image or as text. If we want it as an image, we need to delete the text, and if we want it as text, we need to delete the image tab. Now we'll learn to insert an image or graph in our article. We need to select the section that we're working on and while doing it we need to select on the toolbar the figure uh, or the figure button on it. Now we'll select the identifier of our figure if it has one, the title and the attribution with all the text that comes in it. We'll select on the image and click on the gallery button in the toolbar. We'll upload our image from our computer. We'll select the corresponding image, upload it, and insert our graph. And there we have it. Now we have uploaded our graph to our article.